everybody welcome we are here getting ready for the playstation 5 showcase uh should be yes, starting yes, here in yes. just a minute or very soon because we are staying tuned right now but very soon we were hustling trying to make sure that we could make it because it was uh mm -hmm. it was close we had a lot of filming and stuff that we were doing today but luckily we got here just in time yeah so. but the nick of time anyway i don't know what they're gonna be showing here i don't know if it's gonna be just some of the uh some of the information on the station, PlayStation itself, some maybe new games, maybe just showcasing some of the games that they've already announced, like Miles. Um, but regardless, I'm excited for any of that. Yes, as am I. I also don't know if we've, have, we haven't gotten a price point yet, have we? Not for the PlayStation. I don't believe yeah, I think so, so. No. There's been. Ooh, I think here we estimations. go. Estimations. Here we go. Mature content. Space. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different. Where are we? This is the Ratchet and Clank game. You see things others can't. Sense the power that flows through this land. Yet you do not fully understand it. Mine's fucked up. But whatever comes, I will be ready. Okay, let's do this. Miles is. Colson's been playing through the Spider Man game. It's like his third time playing through it. Really? Yeah, he's like, Dad, when's the next one coming out? I'm like, ah, soon, hopefully. I forget when. On PC emulating the PS5. So not from the PS5, though. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen that really said much. So are they using the same, like, hardware? You all know the target. Mm -hmm. Is that how they're making it emulate that way? Only the dominant. How do we even know the girl will be a monk? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks a little Is this like Final Fantasy? Fantasy? Yeah. Well, it does a chocobo, wasn't mouse. it? Sergeant, <laughs> let's summon their icon. icon. Ooh. That thing's a bloody mountain. Oh, damn. Our foe will not relinquish their mother crystal easily. Jeez. Oh, it's a puppy. This will be a bit of fun. Better be a little pet it. Better be a little pet it. Is a little boy talking like that? Not be out of door. Hear that deep, deep voice? We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. Your father will You guys are like expect. 10 seconds ahead of me. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. Wow. Oh. That's like some kind of Witcher monster, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. It's like a it swamp beholder. It's fighting solo and it looks very action y. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the blood. Look at that knight. Oh. They really mean to invade us. Dude, some of these things look like things I would fight in Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Oh, that's uh, a lot of blood all over oh, that my gosh. Oh, the, a phoenix. Oh, that's Stop a phoenix. It. What is this? Oh shit! It's like the candle maker. <laughs> what is that? The legacy of 
I'm telling you, it's the candle maker. Oh no, <laughs> dude. That's <laughs> shit. Oh, jeez. He squishilated that guy. Squishilated? Yep. <laughs> if it's the last thing I do. Oh, that's him from back then? That all looks and sounds amazing. Yeah, I haven't played a Final Fantasy game in a long time, but the combat in that looks more my style. Yeah. Than like back when I played 7. I haven't played 15 yet. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Never played or watched any kind of Final Fantasy. 16 looks pretty cool. Yeah, that looks crazy. I fought Cloud and Smash Brothers. Well, that's a character. So I know everything. Oh. <laughs> nice. I also love the Sephiroth theme. <laughs> Music in that, that is my... pretty good, too. Yeah, it was good. captured from PlayStation 5 systems. Okay. I like that they're just not like having anybody talk. It's just play the video, you know? Spider-Man, yes! Yeah? That gun You're Aaron. a little ahead of me. Damn it. You're like five <laughs> seconds ahead of awesome. me. Awesome! I'm always behind. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured I was. It's great. N New York City and uh, Sounds great too. And winter. I wonder if they're gonna have ice physics on. <laughs> mean like slidey? <laughs> yeah. Slidey spidey. Haha, <laughs> 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 gotcha. Dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Dang it, Aaron! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh man, look at that. I love the Spider Man mural. Yeah. Oh damn! Mm -hmm. This is just gameplay, isn't That's it? That's really cool. Hell yeah. yeah! Straight into the game, you know. Street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. I hope Luke Cage is around. What? <laughs> Ride the wave. You see it there, guys? I I did see it. Puerto Rico flag. Maria Morales. Yep. Rio. Mm. Rio. Yeah. Educating them, making sure they don't throw things at each other. Rocks on. Yep, rocks off. It means we gotta see Danny in here then, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> not, that's not rocks on. Marvel Spider Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game. And we find Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Hmm. Trouble brews while Miles' mom, Rio Morales, Rio leads Morales. an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation Roxxon uh. and the underground. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts Wow, okay. Roxxon has... Led by the Tinkerer. Tinker. The underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental energy source, new form. Let's take a look. We get to see some new combat, maybe. Let's not shoot each other. So are you gonna be fighting Roxxon and the Underground, maybe? Maybe. Uh, uh this Destiny player, the Tickler. <laughs> right? It does look like Destiny. Looks like someone who belongs in Destiny too. Yeah. <laughs> We're after the new form. Ignore These guys are really else. ineffective. Hmm. Whoa. Doc Ock. Yeah, this kind of Doc Ock arms. The new form, huh? So this is the energy they want. Ruxon's like a gas company, oh. isn't it? I mean, one thing about Miles is he has like this energy thing going on with him too. Yeah, so he has the electric. Kind of... uh oh. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. No. The energy. Uh oh. I'm waiting for the whole bridge to blow up or something. Well, all of those are getting charged now too. 
Does he give him oh, superpowers? I guess that's one way to stop them from taking it. They they still have it. Well, more. Man, of it. These Marvel uh, games really don't like bridges. Yeah. It just points out how dangerous bridges are. They gotta yeah. establish these invisible walls early. I wonder if we can oh, actually. That's cool. That was yeah. cool. Yeah, these slowdown web mechanics are interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the music. Right off the bridge. Oh no! Get over right here. Oh Jesus. whoa! That thing grabs cool just like Doc Ock. It's like that one Smash character. Arms. Ooh, I love this music. Man. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, Miles! Run away! Throw the tire at him. I love his energy. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. That's that's not good. No. They hate bridges. Is that the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah, I think so. It was. Fuck. It's a landmark. Oh, Miles. I've seen this with the train. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's all coming help. down. Oh, that's so cool. Stop that bus. <laughs> Driver's still in there. Oh, no. Oh. No. Oh. He was getting everybody He's out. He's doing his duty. Uh, it's like the lost get world him. now. No. Oh, my gosh. It's just good. Just get him. Good no, thing it's a boat. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And the bus lands on the boat. Oh, what everyone man. else? All those people. They're trapped, Taren. Dude, this is so good. I love it. It's a really high-paced game for it. It's pretty cool. Up, 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 yes. Just like the try boat. To, try to hold it together the best you can. From far from home. Oh. Homecoming. Dude, he's, he's trying what? so hard. Oh, you gotta pull it together enough for them to cross? Oh my gosh. This is like the train. <laughs> it's kind of like the train in two, yeah. I mean, there's different times too. There's also the... Ooh. Ah, oh, no. Fuck. Okay. okay. That this... one guy. There's also the Lady. falling uh, thing the off the bridge in the first one. Yeah. yeah. There's also the boat in one of them. Homecoming. Right? Homecoming. Yeah, homecoming, not far yeah. from home. I, I misspoke yeah. earlier. Ooh. You must keep her from Jeez. getting wet. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, oh, shit, cool. that was good. Be greater. Be yourself. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Real excited for that one. That whole bridge sequence reminded me of the helicopter level in the first one. Yeah. The first Spider-Man game was so much fun. I know. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be what it was, and I loved it. Yeah. I still so need to finish it. Oh, it's so good. I haven't finished it yet. It's so good, Colson has played it so many times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, he just yeah. loves that game. It's a great game from what I've played. Yeah. He's playing through it right now, again. I'm like, what are you doing? There's so many games you haven't beaten. He's like, I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like me. I'm like, beat Shadow of the Colossus. The Harry Potter game? Magic. Ooh. There's an owl. But it doesn't have to be Harry Potter. Harry oh, Potter. dude, it might. It was. It could be. Does it have to be? I, I think this be. might be the uh, Wizarding World thing they were talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's. It was. It had a logo in All the right. beginning. It was like yeah, Wizarding World thing. That's Hogwarts. All oh, right. Yeah. 100%. I've been looking forward to hearing more about this. Late 1800s. <laughs> nice. Listen to the music. So, when did Dumbledore go to school? Whoa, it looks so good. Wow, the staircase is actually flying around is cool. 
<laughs> Here you will meet lifelong Some new t yeah, all new characters. Into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, <laughs> Mastery spells. Aww. There is a larger world beyond these. Okay. Hogs Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade. Ooh. With dangers you can't yet imagine. In theory. Dementors. Long gone from this world. Whoa. What the Isn't fuck cool is that? that stuff? That spinny nipple wall that thing. Strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. That creature's cool. Your potential. Oh, uh, no. Oh, yeah. It is limitless. They have, they a, have cave a cave troll. troll. <laughs> Dang it, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> the journey ahead. Uh, that's one of the teachers. The choices you make now. Define the is that a helicopter pad down there? Ah, uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Nice, man. Neat. That's cool. Port Key Games. I'm excited for that. Putting that in that time period, they have so much freedom. Live the unwritten. Yeah, they could do <coughs> just about anything. Maybe they'll use Flipendo. They better Flipendo. not use Flipendo. Shut up! Flipendo! 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 Damn, Andrek, One of our goals as developers is to bring the game world to life unlike anything you've ever experienced, and the PlayStation 5 is making that happen. With the power of the new console, we've been able to significantly enhance the overall experience. From what you see in the world, how it feels in your hands, to Calvin what you see around you. I was just looking at that. In the middle of one of the most dangerous times the world has ever known, the height of the Cold War. Cold War, huh? The following is a portion of the first. That, was that Nixon? That was Nixon, right? Where you've been given the name of a high-value target. Uh, that was Black Ops. Hostage crisis. Something. But in true Black Ops style. Yeah, nothing yeah. This is it Black seems. Ops. Take a look. I forget what they call it. Whatever. Black it Ops. is Cold War, though. Cold War, isn't it? Yeah. At least that's the the sub text. Turkey. Trabzon. Trabzon okay. airfield. The place. Yeah, not the sandwich. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. I know that voice. Priorities to ideal Raj. Things go hot. Fuck. I like it so far. A lot of gameplay, not a lot of talk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's been the best so far. <laughs> Just let the game speak for itself. A rush might be in the truck. One thing about Call of Duty is they usually don't do a lot of like cinematics. I feel like most of it's all in game, and usually from your point of view too, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Jeez. Well. Well. I was expecting well. something. <laughs> Hold fire. We need a positive ID. That's our man. Take him out. Look at that mustache. Look at that mustache. Look at that hair. It's beautiful. So, we should kill him. Man. He's gonna hit the guy in front of him. Didn't take much time to aim, did he? Nope. Didn't need oh. to when you're that good. You missed him. I knew it. I knew it was gonna <laughs> happen. What? A body scripted. shield? Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, that might have been a little much. 
This is like a I think he was. Of a grenade. He was dead anyway. Jesus. Oh. Who is this guy, Kratos? I see some developers are playing Doom Eternal. Uh oh, we're gonna Fast and Furious this onto the plane. Man, it's like squats. Ooh, some slowdown time there. Drive up into the plane. What? And that plane will be going so fast by now. Can that go faster than these cars in the plane? <laughs> All just so ridiculous. Nah, RC cars can go crazy fast. They're super lightweight. Like, the world record right now is over 200 miles an hour. Not scale miles an hour. Oh! Oh, shit! Ah! Hold the boost to get through! Although I don't think they had that kind of motor technology back then. No, they do. They do. Whatever we got, they had. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was cool. That propeller. Oh, hold on. I don't even think they had brushless motors back there, Eric. That's not a ramp. It is now. Oh. Oh, back it up. Oh, damn. That would suck to be in the back of that. This is like yeah, a fucking uncharted level. Yeah, it is. All right, that's a hell of a level there. Did we get him? We got him. <laughs> Was that Brad Pitt in that jacket? It did look like him. It looked like him from that Tarantino movie. We, we yeah, Once Upon a Time we in Hollywood. We hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at the campaign for Black Ops Cold War. There are many more twists and turns along the way as you begin to unravel the truth, and we can't wait for you to play it soon. In addition to the story Cold campaign, War so Cold much War fire. features the next generation of multiplayer Just be online quiet about combat. It and an all-new awesome zombies experience. Today, I have the special like honor zombies. to announce on behalf zombies. of my friends at yeah. Treyarch mm -hmm. that the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play Ooh. the multiplayer alpha exclusively on PlayStation 4. And for those of you that are watching at home on your PS4, wow. you can preload <laughs> the experience starting tomorrow. Yeah. We can't wait to see you online Friday and through the weekend. Enjoy the rest of the show. Play free unless you're in Germany or Japan. And then nominal fees are required. I love people in chat. His hairline is too good. That man is not real. He's just blue light <laughs> behind him. Yeah, it just makes it all wonky looking. <laughs> but before... Uh, well, I like that Rob, he was like, they did say everything from here on is from the PS5. <laughs> so we're like, well, they got me there. Is PS5 going to have one of the, uh, the motion capture camera Ooh, things? What's this? They can film with. Up there. Come on, move. Seems scary. Chris? Resident Evil. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Chris. Him away. Chris. Umbrella. Does that look like a village to you? What was this? Uh, six, seven, eight. eight? In life yeah. and in death. We give glory. The bell tolls for us all. So which Sound coming Sounds like again. Mother Talzin. <laughs> <laughs> it does, yes. <laughs> yeah. Seven was too. behind her. Seven was got pretty creepy. This looks like it's getting pretty creepy. Compared to where like yeah. five and six took it, like seven was kind of scary, especially in VR. Quit being so paranoid. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard. Oh, cool. This reminds the me of the Harry Potter, like, the uh, yeah, the Witchley Hallows. Yeah. yeah, the, the, the bush is empty. <laughs> Yet determined Witchley to find Hallows. the berries, the rascal sense. broke free of the grass. <laughs> it does remind me of it, though. <laughs> yeah. Or like a Tim Mothers Burton claymation. Yeah, like, what was that one where the girl was made out of, like, buttons branch. and shit? Yeah. I can't remember the the name. Coraline, yeah. Mm. Is it called? Definitely a cult. It's just a local tale. Her face is going to turn around. It's going to be all creepy. I feel like that's the first and only good 
like table of food you've ever seen in a Resident Evil game. Hmm. Village. Okay. I do like that logo a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that they're putting the numbers in the logos and stuff. It's really cool. If it's Laugh. just lucky, window it's shop fat. away. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. Looks real good. It rem yeah. I get some Outlast 2 vibes from it, too, but... What is that from, Rick? Is that Batman? No, yeah, Batman from Red Dead 2. Okay. Oh. Nope. This, this is, is that gun game. game. Yeah. Yeah, we've oh, seen yeah. this. Death loop! <laughs> this game does look interesting. You want out of yeah. a time loop? You gotta learn how it works. It's like the that thing. Is a puzzle, and each visionary is a different piece. <laughs> An army man. Here's Igor. I am a respected scientist. I've done so many loops, I've learned to run circles around him. Hey, over here! I'm coming for you! Jeez. Ah, nice. What are these? Why are these people look golden and stuff? They're probably not fully rendered. I think they kind of look right? reminds me of Bullet Storm. I've tried taking my targets out one by one more than I can remember, but there is never enough time. I go after one, another lives. Because right now, half an island away, a different visionary is throwing his nightly cannibal masquerade. What? Alexis Dorsey. Everybody shut up! This is my jam. Igor is a big Ow! Fan, Yet somehow, he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Gold, you there, buddy? Here's the invite to the party. And here's why Igor blew it off. He made some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. I did it! I did it! It works! Daddy makes every move. Unless I get there first. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just dumped bullets in there. No experiment. No break. You can hack shit. No reason for. So now he takes the invite and he goes to the party. With Alexis. Now I got a shot at killing them both at the same time. In the same loop. Two birds, one stone. Jesus gun. <laughs> you throwing people at him? He's launching his goons at him. Alexis dead. Those are guests. Now, this See, is the, someone in this stopping you, right? I'd say the crazy thing about this is this is all really cool, but they're not even showing like the second person who's supposed to be hunting you down or doing whatever it is they're doing. Yeah. Eight targets on my list. Every one of them with grand plans for eternal life. To break the loop, I gotta break the rules. Clock's ticking. Mm -hmm. There it is. And you just ran out of time. You keep forgetting, Colt. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yours. Cool. Was good. <coughs> yeah. So she just hunts down one, and he has to hunt down two. You get them both in the same loop. Eight. Eight total, right? Yeah. It's cool. Capcom, what's this? Devil May Cry day, 6? If our positions were switched. Oh, God! What are yeah. fates? Is that what it is? Different. It's definitely Devil May Cry. What I have your life. <coughs> Here's the van. You're a demon. So 
Mega Man Cry 5. 5 Special Edition. Special Edition. Not quite as exciting. But still up. Awesome. Yeah. Mega Cry 5 is a hell of a game. Hell of a game. A hell of a game. I did that. Before me. You get to play Zero. Sparta! It was so much fun to play as three. So much blade action. Oh! Well, that's weird. Music is awesome. I guess it looks like a ball sack. There it is again. Ugh. Some of this looks new. I mean, in special edition, they might have added more stuff. They do that a lot of times, too. I mean, Virgil is definitely new as a playable character. Would have had, like his own campaign. Nice. So they should have done this, and like slowly they like show what the, t the price point is, but just like you gotta be paying attention or else you miss mm -hmm. it. And like, well, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Odd world. They'll finish that. How many is it supposed to be? Like twelve or nine? Is it like oh, nine? It's supposed to be a ridiculous number of games. Did those fugitive yeah. morons burn down their own hideout? It sounds idiotic, but that's exactly what it looks that's like. That's a hell of a nose. <laughs> looks it's like a hell of a nose. Warm up for burning down my farm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director of Oddworld Soul. just has a whole bunch of fingers. We're excited to bring you an all new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, Abe, finds himself fresh off the back of freeing his people from the nefarious rupture farms. This is that 2D puzzle game, right? Over, mm -hmm. But soon discovers it is only just 2D begun. puzzle platformer. The stakes are mm -hmm. higher, the threats are larger, the obstacles are more devious, and it's all made possible by the power of PlayStation 5. Enjoy. A 2D puzzle platformer like Lemmings. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Look at him, Lemmings. Uh oh. Ah. Oh. oh my gosh. We are not Boulders ready. Get away from us again. Uh, they're shooting. Wait here. Oh my gosh. I could go for a sandwich right now. Well, we gotta get out of here. Get Come on, my let's tummy, get out of here. My tummy's growling. I, I'm Stop. <laughs> Soul store. My tummy's growling. Turkey. They didn't give a date on that one, did they? I didn't, I didn't see one. See it. That one's weird. The music was like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it felt like my headphones were popping. Gregory, <gasps> your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. Please come out. Why is it so? Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's or something. It's been such a difficult. I keep wanting to say, Calvin, quit breathing hard. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? <laughs> I think it is. Maybe. It could be Five yeah. of Freddy's. They had sister locations. It, it could be a different... Yeah. There he is. Yeah. It's like... It almost it looks like Bioshock. 
It reminded me of Bioshock. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Got you, Eric. Security breach. So is Freddy trying to protect you now? Could be cool if like you have to work with Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> to get away from whoever. This only looked much different than the other games. I have to I have to have Melanie play that game. Because she'll love it. Got to work. You might want to not look. Huh? Me? Oh, um, never mind. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Is this demons? Soul of the lost, withdrawn from the Yeah, yeah. Demon I souls. See. Demon souls. <coughs> I remember this like main hub area right here. So How could you forget? I spent most of my time here. So the world mm -hmm. be Making amends. For all the people that you slaughtered. No, I didn't slaughter anything. I might want to try to play this one stream. I never beat this one. Man, it looks so much better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> than what you just played? <laughs> well, sure, but I, the, the first time I played Demon Souls was... Oh, it didn't yeah. seem like this. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Listen, but I feel like looks I don't want to play this impressive. one right away. I need to go through the other ones and come back to this one later. In the butt! That's a cool little... Man, there's like no HUD. Yeah. Or at least they have it shut off. Game that started it off. Hmm. There's little notes on the ground. Ooh. This guy's strong. He's killing everything like a hit. Are they just hiding the HUD for the demo? Might be. Maybe. I mean, you don't really need the HUD, but this looks you pretty good. You need health sometimes. I remember that fucker. Oh. Dang. I'm not sure which zone he's in. Oh, look at this guy. He's going two-handed. The controls seem a lot more fluid than I remember them being. Yeah. Or at least the... the graphics seem really fluid. Like, follows the character a lot smoother. Idiot. <laughs> that guy really whiffed his crossbow. <laughs> Just said he was like kind of lazy, like, oh shit, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hate crossbows. Uh, Take too long the to boss? load. This is a boss room. Looks like a boss room. Transverse the, the white light. Ah! Uh, looks like the asylum team or something. Ah! Uh, uh. No, it looks amazing. Is this, Ooh, I mean, if this is gameplay, it looks amazing. Yeah. It's all... Oh! It's definitely gameplay. Dodge, dodge. Oh, yeah, I know. I just... I'm shocked by how well the lighting is, uh, is doing. Man. You died. Perfect way to end. Oh, no! I remember that. I don't think I ever beat that. I remember the tower knight, for sure. Alright guys, he died, so make sure you give Aaron squats. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that <laughs> I didn't die. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if I ever beat that spider. I remember getting to that and being like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And I gave up. It's easy to cheat the way sure. to the Pyromancer. Pretty sure. Well, I never played Pyromancers.
Shoot, did it say a date? I missed it again. I didn't see one. But I was glancing back and forth between chat and this. Horizon? No. No. It doesn't look like Horizon. Fortnite. Ah. Yeah, oh, that's Fortnite. Okay, gotcha. New map. <clears throat> Cars. What about Fortnite? I just Man. assumed it would be on everything. They, they gotta say that, though. Coming. Available at launch. Okay. They didn't spend too much time on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did get out pretty quick. Like, everyone knows what Fortnite is. PlayStation Plus Collection. Collection? Is this like a, a Centurion Collection or whatever that film series is? That'd be interesting. New PlayStation Plus benefit for PS5. A new benefit. Is it like a library of previous games and stuff? God of War, Woo! Bloodborne, I'm Monster playing Hunter that World. in like an hour, everybody. Bloodborne, Monster <laughs> Hunter World, Final Fantasy 15, Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat 10, Deep Sin. These are all exclusives, right? Until Tron. I think they are, right? My name is Kara. So far, I'm pretty sure. Detroit, yeah. It, uh, I don't think Battlefield 1 is. <laughs> no. Dude, Infamous is a fun game. Hey, hey Last Guardian. Last right? Guardian. Nice. Wow, cool. <laughs> I just needed them to remake Eco. After all, we've been. Play you, that. Yeah, Zona five. Zona five. Wait, not Royale? That's looks like a looks like an anime. Weird. Damn right it does, Aaron. Resident Evil Seven. So, so, so you, you get you all, those, get like, all these games now, or what is what is it? Access it. So you just, you just get access to all those games during get on a PS5. I guess for having huh. PlayStation Plus, you wow. just get that collection of the exclusives. It's That's good crazy. Value if you haven't played them before. Yeah. yeah, there's a few there I haven't. Take that, All Stars. Okay. <laughs> Well, because they already have PlayStation now, but that must be, that's just a PlayStation Plus benefit that maybe you yeah. get access to that normally is on PlayStation now. Maybe. PlayStation now doesn't have PS4 games, does it? It's like PS3 and earlier. Here's the console. I'd have to look, I forget, but you might be right. Looks so weird on its side. Still looks like a router. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. This is super zoomed in. This is digital. And this is the one without the the drive tray. Yep. Yeah. Digital edition. I love the controller though. There they go. Five hundred. Four hundred. All right. Wow. Okay. November twelfth. U.S., Japan, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea. All right, there it is. Everywhere else, the 19th. So now you know. Thank you all for joining us today and for being part of this amazing journey. It's your passion as fans of gaming that drives us to deliver a truly new generation of experiences on PS5. From everyone at PlayStation, we appreciate your continued support, and we look forward to you getting your hands on PS5 very soon. To close, let me leave you with one more quick look.
Are they going to go a little bit deeper on the... Nope, okay. The game. I was hoping we were going to get Coffee some hard part specs. Two. Nope. Oh, it's got a war. Yeah, huh? It is. Eric, don't look. Huh? But I want... Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. It could be spoilers. Eric, yeah, you might not want to look. But so God far, damn it. Looks like, it looks like nothing. Just, just yell when I can. How am I covering this? You must prepare yourself. How will I tell if you're yelling? I didn't think this through. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Interesting. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Twenty twenty one. Right, I think you can look. Eh, wait. Wait, Rick. Alright, now you're very good. Eric! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is that the end of it? Let's go. Yeah, I think this is just, like recaps and stuff. I won't know how I like the controller until I hold it. Oh, I'm excited for that. to be it gotta say I'm I might just get myself a digital version I don't know if I need a drive I don't know yeah well that's one thing too is they didn't really dive into they're like look digital version and then here's the drive version but is there any yeah. difference in hard yeah, drives is there any sure. difference yeah. in there's a lot of difference in the Xbox mm -hmm. uh, discless version so yeah. yeah are there any versions or is that just <laughs> literally the only difference yeah, if I that's mean, the only difference, I mean, I, I used, I mean, I generally like being able to have a physical copy and put it on my shelf. But anymore, like I got PlayStation, PlayStation now, and I'm just like, I'll just do this, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that's been pretty cool, been pretty fun. So, but I'm also not a huge gamer, so I don't know if I need it. So yeah, was, was, was um, the God of War thing spoilery? No. Uh, it, uh, not, 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 not tremendously. PC. Okay, it there just was... gave a title and it showed uh, 2021. Okay, well, that's exciting. Um, I'm playing that game. I'll actually will be playing here in about uh, 70 minutes. So make sure you guys stick around here on Twitch while I'll be playing God of War. I'm a blind playthrough right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be cool. Um, as far as the games that they showed and stuff, like there's some. I feel like there's some pretty good stuff that I'm interested in for sure. Like mm -hmm. I'm definitely interested in Spider-Man. Now I don't know how much they're going to be doing with PS4 versus PS5. Like how much they're going to have on both, and what's going to be exclusive yeah. to like PS5. Because um, definitely some things going to be exclusive, which I imagine. Yeah, Final Fantasy uh, 16 exclusive. Yeah, Final Fantasy 16 being exclusive. Um, Deathloop was another one that was exclusive. Um, I imagine some of that kind of stuff is going to be like, you know, like you're not getting those on PS4. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, probably not. <clears throat> But no, Final Fantasy 16 looks pretty cool. I haven't played any Final Fantasy games for a while. Um, 
and one of the things that I didn't like as much that I kind of liked more about Kingdom Hearts was like the the Legend of Zelda kind of play where you can roll, dodge, you know, attack mm-hmm. versus like, all right, I'm gonna attack him. All right, now wait for him to attack me. Yeah. Even though I love Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, sure, I get you. There's something different about it. Where like I'm ordering my Pokemon to do it. Maybe yeah. I, I can I can understand better, but yeah, I mean, I definitely 100% prefer turn-based. Uh, but it, it did look pretty cool. It, it's just that there aren't a lot of turn-based games around anymore. Like, you have your Dragon Quest Eleven, but other than that, it's kind of dying out, which I think is a shame. Like, um, But who knows exactly how it plays. Like, uh, f- you can play all of Final Fantasy VII Remake in a turn-based style mode, uh, but you can also play it in that sort of more action-y mode. So will this like offer both of those things, or is it just more of a? I'm mean, almost look, you know, Devil May Cry kind of, mm-hmm. in the way that they were attacking some of those things. But just having that as an exclusive would be enough to determine for me uh, which one to get. I think because I, I didn't see anything coming out of the Xbox that had my interest as much as that one. And then you add Spider-Man on top of that. Now they said console exclusive for Final Fantasy 16, so that could mean it makes its way onto PC at some point but i doubt spider-man will no i don't no, think so probably not. sony has that i think locked mm-hmm. down pretty good um there's also uh, a harry potter game i don't think that one's an exclusive i don't think uh, i, can't I, I don't know if, if it is or not I mean, we have heard rumors about this like open world harry potter game that wb was uh developing for a very long time and they released some gameplay for not released they leaked some gameplay for it like two years ago but uh, this is the first time I think we're actually seeing like actual gameplay, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, and I think they're just setting themselves up story-wise to be able to do whatever the hell they want by putting it in the 1800s. Mm-hmm. So everybody you see is going to be brand new. You can make your own stories. And I've always said that the best thing you can do with something like this is do a game for each year that you're in Hogwarts, and you could sell seven games easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, yeah. and also while they're showing a lot of that, they had various characters that were doing the spell casting yeah. mm-hmm. which either means the way the story goes through you're playing various characters or there's yeah. lots of customization True. to make your own character to make your own to go why through would your, you your not school especially year. if you're leaving it that open why well, not have it be that you can be you, uh, this, you can uh, this custom this character creation. run i'm gonna be a gryffindor that specializes in charms this time i'm gonna get slytherin that specializes in flying a broom well, or something imagine you know? it being uh like Elder Scrolls, you know? Yeah. Where, like, you make your character, you go in, and you make your choices to join you know, this organization or this yeah. one, and how you want to play, and what classes you want to take, or, or whatever, you know? And specialize mm-hmm. yourself in, like, more of this kind of magic or more of this kind of magic, yeah. you know? Like, and it, it did look like they, you also go out from Hogwarts as well because they were running into places that had Inferi and Dementors and yeah. other magical creatures and stuff that Hogwarts doesn't really house. The mm-hmm. downside you can have with those kind of games where you have so much control over your character creation is the story can't reference your character a lot. Yeah, you have you can have a lack of character because your character must be so open. Yeah, I get that. But I mean, it looks really it looks really interesting. I mean, I uh, obviously am really interested in Spider Man, but I love the first Spider Man game. But I've always wanted a Harry Potter game that can push a limit like this, so I might be more excited about that. Harry Potter Honestly. could do uh, something that Divinity 2 does, where it has five or so pre-made characters that mm-hmm. have their story beats within the story, but you can also yeah. just make your own character as well. Yeah. So like, it, maybe it could offer both of those things. Yeah. So you could have more of like a plot investment, mm-hmm. maybe for future, or something like that. But also you could just play your own thing and not worry about that kind of stuff. Yeah. It'd be cool. But yeah, no, it looks really cool. I'm interested to see. I mean, I know they did like some VR stuff with Harry Potter in the past before, but having your own game would be really kind of cool, I think. So yeah. Um, dude, in the beginning too, they started off really strong. They showed some Spider-Man gameplay. Yeah, mm-hmm. which looked yeah. really good. Which I mean, that mission reminded me of like how detailed they made the helicopter saving mission in the first game because that was mm-hmm. the one they kind of like used as a trailer to show. So you put a little extra oomph into that one, you know. So that was probably, you know, semi-close to the beginning of the game. Yeah. I just I wonder why uh, Miles is doing stuff and maybe, like, is Peter gone? Is he out of New York? You know, maybe something yeah, like does that. He, does he show up again or anything, too, or does, throughout the Or do line? you have two Spider-Men or something, you know? But yeah. it, it, it did seem like Roxon. That's a, that seems like an interesting uh, choice for bad guys because I primarily know them as, like, you know, BP version in Marvel. 
Um, but they had like soldiers and stuff, and then you had the underground. So like these two warring factions, uh, much like the criminals and the uh, saber sable, sable sable in the first game. So. Um. Yeah, no, it looks really cool. I like the mechanics of, like, mixing in his invisibility. He has some of the electrical abilities, which also match well with the people he's going mm-hmm. against and stuff, too. Um, and then we got a little bit of story with, like, his mom and stuff being involved in, like, politics and stuff. So it'd be kind of cool yeah. to see yeah. how that plays out. <clears throat> um, and then they also had uh, Black Ops, which is coming out this holiday. That's going to be on multiple consoles, but there is the alpha for multiplayer for mm-hmm. users. So that'd be kind of cool if you have PS4. Um, multiplayers like they they come out with that. It's mainly multiplayer all the time. But the story looks sure. kind of cool. Visuals yeah. look good. There were some things they added in that I haven't seen in a Call of Duty game, like the the grenade kickback of the guy as a move <laughs> that you can do in the game. Like is mm-hmm. not one that I've seen in a Call of Duty game before. Well, yeah, there was just some um, like brutal Doom Eternal style killings where they just went up on a guy and like shot him like directly mm-hmm. in the head as part of like a, a canned like a animation. Move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was that kind of stuff that I hadn't really seen like in Call of Duty. So that was yeah. like. Yeah, it definitely feels like war, you know. But um, Resident Evil Eight looks really good from what they've shown us. It looks not really, really really good. Sh- it looks like some engine stuff, but not like gameplay. Yeah, but yeah. Seven was scary, like especially the environment and what they did. Like as, if you're looking at what they did, like in the first games, and then like four started kind of more a little bit more actiony. Five really did. Six really did. And then seven yeah. really stepped back into like let's make it more horror, put it in first person perspective, and mm-hmm. use that to our advantage. And they, I think they did a good job with that. So this one I get a little bit of Outlast two vibes, but that's also like out in the woods, cult looking stuff in first person view. And that's what I think why I think of that. But I think that one looks really cool. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I need to play seven coming this October because I'm yeah, behind on should. my Resident Evil. Play that for stream streaming then, Rick. Yep. So. Which also, guys, if you uh, if you're not familiar, during October we do have Scream Stream where we play a variety of scary games, and also usually have jump scares on where you can attempt to scare us with your own jump scares. So make sure you guys come back in and follow us so you don't miss out on that. Um, then we had some like remakes or re-releases like Devil May Cry and mm-hmm. Demon Soul, um, or two that they showed. Demon Soul looked really good. Yeah. Like compared to the ver- the first one that came out on like the PS3. Yeah. I yeah. thought right. gameplay yeah. gl- gameplay wise the lighting was the most impressive in that one. I felt like. Yeah. Lighting looked, looked good. good. Yeah. The the mechanics like even me playing Dark Souls recently like what that looked like just mm-hmm. yeah. It feels so flowy. It looks really good. I'm very interested in that. I mm-hmm. I haven't beaten that one. I've only played Dark Souls and then I haven't played any of the other ones, so. Yeah. I have to get to those. But Rick what, did Devil May Cry did it look any better than what it had before or is it just kind of like New Here's stuff. Uh, it was already a gorgeous game, so it, it looked pretty much the same, <laughs> except uh, I did see a few encounters that I did not recognize. That's possible. Those are on the hardest difficulty, which I haven't played, but more likely there's just some added stuff for his campaign, because it doesn't make any sense that you play as Virgil in the main campaign. I don't want to spoil yeah. the story. So yeah. uh, he probably has his own that might like intersect throughout the main as it kind of goes on, but He's always been a really fun character to play in the series. Uh, he always plays a lot different than the rest of them. And I thought that uh, the variety of the characters in 5 that you could control was spectacular. And I'm just excited to have another one to add to those. Gotcha. What do you guys think about like remake games and stuff like that? Do you think it's being too common and too much? Or is it like... like I think Demon's Soul, like, you could make a new one, or you can take one that people love and, like, be able to, like, revamp it and actually, like, this one looks rebuilt, you know? Not just, well, let's just take it and splash yeah. it back onto this, you know? Like, <clears throat> I mean, if there's an audience for it, then I'm not going to be like, you shouldn't get this, you know? Yeah. Um, if you're saying, like, well, they're doing that in place of, like, new stuff that could be good or just as good or something like that, I'm like, yeah, I, I see that, too. But, yeah. I mean... You know, when it comes to a market that as expensive as making games, you want to go as sure of a thing as possible, and it can be hard to do yeah. more original stuff. Yeah. yeah, I definitely, I definitely agree with that. Like, I don't feel like there's not enough new titles and stuff coming out that, mm-hmm. like, we're being starved for new content and stuff. But yeah. the remakes, I feel like it can re 
up like your your previous fan base you know get them excited again for, for an mean, older you, game my favorite Maybe introduce I, it to a younger sibling or something like yeah. that you know my favorite remake from the last year or two is Link's awakening uh because it took a relatively unplayed zelda game and just brought it back for the switch but they changed it up so much and also not enough you know but they changed up the uh the art style and a, you know a certain amount of things where it, it was introducing uh, a pretty beloved kind of off to the side game to a wider audience so as they follow that kind of formula i'm in but if it's just like yeah. you know well we're just porting this over or you know just doing some kind of things i'm like well we'll see i mean if it's i mean if it's ocarina of time yeah i'm gonna play it <laughs> you know well, see, I think there's, like, that line. So, like, mm -hmm. um, with that game and, like, Demon Souls and Dark, uh, yeah. Resident Evil 2, like, I feel like those ones, like, they're upgrading it, and it also can be introducing it to a new audience that hasn't yeah. ever seen those before. Because, like, I never played the old Resident Evil games. And a lot of what did that, like, even though, because they had a re-release or a remake of the first one, didn't they, Rick? They did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was incredible for the game. And they, but for me, it still wasn't enough whenever I was one Because I never had a GameCube, so I never played it then. And it still had like the tank controls, I believe, and it was kind of a little different, and I couldn't get into it. But when the Resident Evil 2 came out, I feel like it was, like, I, I love the game. Like, it plays really yeah. well. Like, it's probably something that I would have never played before, but they re-release it to where I, I could play it. So it's kind of yeah, bringing I mean, in a whole new thing, I think. Gamers' tastes evolve over time, and it's not like they're taking away the original versions, so the people who like them can always go back and play them. But yeah, the new ones can make them more accessible to another audience. And the thing is, with all of these games anyway that are getting these remakes, these are all games that I, for the most part, love anyway, and I'm going to go back and play again anyway. Yeah. So I might as well have these new versions to play of them instead. And yeah. hopefully yeah. they're as good or better than the mm -hmm. originals. Like Shadow of the Colossus. Instead of trying to go back and play the PS2 version and figure out either A, how to play it, you know, or find your old PS2, getting a newer upgraded version of that kind of showing up to play it. Like yeah, and, kind of cool. and like allowing my daughter to have the same wow factor that I did playing yeah. the first one. Well, because yeah, because like they're playing games now, and then then you show like play this game; it's so cool, and they look at like Dad, this looks sh shitty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like me going back to playing Metal Gear or something like that. <laughs> yeah, this is magic when I was a kid. <laughs> you know, like that polygon I know, looks it's, great. <laughs> it's like me showing Jancy, Bill, and Ted, and she's like, "You really like this?" As we're watching, I'm like, "Yeah, I liked it." Man, it's not as good as I remember. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> that first one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so I think it's a place for him. I enjoy those, so we shall see. But uh, yeah, the the last couple of things I have here, Death Loop. We've seen that a lot. I don't feel like they showed us too much more here. Mm -hmm. I love I like the concept of being like stuck in this loop, being hunted by someone else. I think it, I think it's one of those games though where like I'll know if I like it once I get my hands on it to be able to play it. Yeah, you know, it might be yeah. for me or it might not. I'm not sure. That that's an original, right? That's a new one. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think it's like it... also going to be exclusive to PlayStation. I believe they said. Gotcha. I feel like it'd be a really fun game to play with you, Aaron, because it kind of reminds me of Time Splitters, except yeah. it's competitive instead yeah. of cooperative. You know, it's like Time Splitters and Hitman Two. Maybe it, it could be fun. I think it could be a fun game to play. Um, there's a new Finance of Freddy's coming out. I don't know. All they gave us was a name. Yeah. I would imagine that's going to be on PC and different things too. But they released like five of those in like two years, didn't they, or something? Like, I mean, the first one the, came out, and then they released a couple more, and they didn't change up too much. It was kind of the same idea. Um, sister Location was different a decent bit from, like, especially the first few. Mm -hmm. um, so this one, I don't know what this one's going to be. This one's, like, number... I think they had four, and then they, I think they had Sister Location, so I think this one's, like, six, maybe? Number six. I think. Whereas Resident Evil's only up to eight, and it's decades older. Yeah. There's also, like, I think there was, like, a... Finance of Freddy, like, RPG or something that they did? I don't know. There's, there's really? some weird things with that. But, yeah. <laughs> so, there's there's definitely been a few of these. I don't know how fast they came out originally, but... It, Sister Location, at least, I played that one. And it definitely feels much different than just sitting in a room and having to monitor some things. Mm -hmm. They added some more stuff to it that you had to do. So, it seemed kind of cool. People in chat are saying, it's number eight. No, it's number nine. It's ten, I think. No, it's Did, nine. <laughs> no one knows. There's so many. <laughs> I know for sure there's at least five. I know, I'm pretty sure there's Five Nights at Freddy's, one, two, three, four, and Sister Location. So I know there's at least that many. It's like whenever we're talking about uh, Tremors or Dragonheart. It's like, how many of those are there? Yeah, yeah. Some of them sneak up on you, right? You're like, oh, they yeah, sneak up on that. you. Um, and then uh, I think... Oddworld was another one, Rick. I know that you played more Oddworld back in the day. 
Yeah, uh, it's always been a really quirky, fun series that just has never done super well commercially, but it was super ambitious from its beginning. Like, it was supposed to tell this very dark story, not only through, like, uh, seven games, but also there was supposed to be, like, a movie and stuff like that. So Jeez. it's fun to see that uh, series, like, continuing on and people were able to do it because I, I think it's a... Uh, f- uh, it's fun. Like I'll be interested to see how that one changes it up for the newer generations, because uh, I'm not sure if that kind of gameplay will have a lot of appeal for people who don't already like the series. But we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing I had uh, was the Play- PlayStation Plus collection thing, which mm-hmm. is, I think it's a cool idea because, like, I had a PS4, so I've played most of those games. But if you're especially trying to appeal to people who didn't have a PS4 or maybe were on Microsoft's side of the fence, like, hey, look, if you get this, you're going to get access to a lot of what made the PS4, like, you know, the PS4, you know, Uncharted, yeah. God of War, like, a lot of these exclusives that were, like, big games on the, on the console. Um, mm-hmm. And also, I think that opens a door, too, so, like, hey, make sure you play these because now we can make new sequels that are coming out you know, for God of War, for example, that they kind of tease there at the end. And, you know, if, if they ever do another Uncharted, play, should you play Uncharted 4? You know, like that kind of stuff. So I think yeah, it's a cool and- thing just to, just to give something back a little bit. Like, hey, we already did these. Most people already bought these, but you can get access to them if you get a PS5. Yeah. Well, and PlayStation Plus already gave you free new games as well. Like every month, well, yeah. right? Well, I think like Until Dawn I have already from PlayStation Plus and yeah. You know, there's various games like that that I've gotten for free for PlayStation Plus, but and it's an, a good incentive to buy up to the next generation of console. You know, you don't have to feel like oh, I'm leaving these games behind if I bought them digitally or if I didn't buy them digitally. You know, well, and, and even so, like if you hadn't done it, it would probably cost you as much to buy a PlayStation Four and those games, even at their discounted rates, as it would sure. a PS Five. Yeah, sure. Um, and I and, see someone in chat being like, and you need a PlayStation Plus too. I don't think you can just buy the PS5, which I, I'm pretty sure you're right. But for the most part, if you're getting PlayStation or Xbox, most likely you're going to want the online service for either one because you, you lose out on various elements like online play for a lot of games and yeah. stuff like that. Voice so, chat and stuff like that too, right? For most people, I figure like if you're getting this system, you're usually getting the the membership thing for it. So, But uh but no, yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And then they had the God of War tease, which Eric might be excited for more so once he finishes God of War. But he's going to be streaming that here <laughs> in like an hour, a little less than an hour. Yeah. So make sure you yeah. guys uh, stick around and or come back for that. Because mm-hmm. uh, that's all I have. I think it covers most of everything they showed us here. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I even looked up on Sony trying to see like if there's any information on what the two different consoles have. And I can't really find anything. So maybe there'll be more of that coming later. But it was like a $100 difference. It was what, 399 and 499 um, yep. For the U.S. dollar, and uh, as of right now, all I think it is is this one has a disk drive, and this one doesn't. You know, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. There might be some hard drives or maybe different spec issues inside that are a little yeah. different. But as of uh, right yeah. now, I don't I'm know. always wondering which generation is going to be the death of the disk. So it could be this one. Yeah, yeah. It's it's coming soon. I feel it. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the f- right. This is the first generation of them having like a digital only cop version of a mm-hmm. console right like at launch well, especially yeah, at so. launch yeah yeah like i'm trying to think of like when ps4 launched like they had just their disc based version they came out with the ps4 mm-hmm. pro and it still had a disc based version mm-hmm. so yeah we might be getting closer and closer to like just getting rid of discs and then there's going to be you know things like gamestop and pre-owned games you know garage sales all that kind of stuff that's not going to be a thing anymore unless yeah. you garage sale an old console and hope it has and Hope account has on those it games that has on it, downloaded yeah. on it or something. I don't know, you know. So, but it's been slowly going that way, and I think it's. I think it's going to be maybe. I think it might be next generation before it actually hits. Yeah, so. I think this is them like warming up people. It's like, hey, if you buy the version that's digital only, you get a massive discount. True. Oh, well, in, it, in getting the disc too, like you know, I use mine to watch movies on. You know. Yeah. So true. I definitely than having have. a Blu-ray player and having that, getting that to play my movies is handy as well. But a lot of that's going digital as well now, you know. So I might not be doing that as much as I think I am. Yeah, maybe not. So, all right. Um, do you guys have anything else about the PlayStation or anything else you saw that we didn't cover? Nope. Look good. I like that they let the games kind of speak for themselves to the most part and didn't they have did. a whole lot of like 
talking about the philosophy of design and marketing <laughs> to people, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so that was nice. Yeah, true. They, they just kind of showed us yep. stuff for like 40 minutes or so and mm-hmm. a couple of things here and there, and yep. that was it. So. No yep. sports games either. Nope. No, no. They, they, and they came out hard with like some good, like, like yeah. big titles, you know? So. Big titles right in the beginning, yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you for a few people who was letting us know that this was coming because sometimes we don't see this kind of stuff and we miss out. I saw one thing saying there might be a Nintendo thing tomorrow. I'll have to look and see if that's the case because I haven't heard anything about that. But uh, make sure you guys follow so you guys don't miss out on any uh, streams like this. Um, and we also stream every day. In fact, Eric's going to be streaming here in about 50 minutes for God of War. It's his first time playing through that. So if and you want to stream tomorrow as well. And what? And we're streaming tomorrow as well. Or, uh, we will. Uh, Friday, Ooh. also. We will be streaming Friday, uh, Fall Guys, for the four of us. So make sure you guys come back to see if we can collect any crowns Friday as well. So, All right, guys. I think that's going to be it. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Stick around, boy.